cooking up tasty dishes perfect for your parties. Some of our favorite chefs are in the house. Chef Kristen Kish, Chef Eric McCree, the Podash twins are here. And before we get to what I am told, the best gumbo in New York City, it's time for another surprise for our audience. Come on out. Who's here? Cooperative of Afghan farmers cultivate saffron with passion and care, bringing the purest and freshest spice that not only elevates your dishes, but also supports sustainable farming practices, helping to empower and uplift communities. Tam fam, you know saffron is not cheap. <laughs> You're all getting Hiray's Afghan spice set with saffron, wild mountain cumin seeds, coriander, caraway, fennel, and mint, worth $100. Kitchen needs Graza's drizzle and sizzle. They are the perfect pair for cooking, entertaining, and gifting. Graza's single origin, extra virgin Pequot olive oil is the kitchen companion you cannot live without. I love it because they come in chef-inspired squeeze bottles, and truly, I never thought something so simple could be so delicious and so fun. I've got a little caprese salad here. I've got a little pizza with some prosciutto and arugula. And guess what I have? I've got Graza gifting you all a $150 gift card. There you have it. Stay tuned because later we're going to fill you in on how you can win every single giveaway from today's show. Our chefs are ready to taste the gumbo, but are you, Chef Eric, ready to cook your gumbo? I am ready. Okay, I love this. <laughs> okay, you grew up in, wait for it, Boise, Idaho. Yeah. I don't think Boise is known for gumbo. Boise is not known So for gumbo. how did the soul of Louisiana enter your life? Yes, my grandfather loved Cajun Creole food. Yes. In, any shellfish and hot spicy food we ate. And your gumbo is said to be, and I have checked online and people <laughs> rave that you have the best gumbo in New York City. Absolutely. Oh my God. Yes. All right. Let's start cooking. By the way, congratulations on your restaurant. You're celebrating the culture of Louisiana. I'm going to be there New Year's Day when you have Black Eyed Peas, Hoppin' Jack, Hoppin Jones. all of the Southern favorites on New Year's Day. Yes. So we'll be there. But let's get to the gumbo. Here we yes. go. All right. So it starts out with the roux. The roux is the most yes. important thing. So what we do is you use butter, mm -hmm. and you want to go into a hot pan. And roux is your base for it all. The roux is the base. Mm -hmm. And you're looking for like a peanut butter color. Yeah. So we add in the butter. We add in the chicken fat, and then we add in the flour. Now, I told you, my cousin calls my gumbo struggle gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I actually posted a picture of my gumbo once on internet, and she called me and said, delete it immediately. <laughs> so she said I got the roux wrong. So what is the key to the right roux? The roux is the heart of the gumbo. Yeah. So you have to get to the right coloring. Yeah. And, and so you just have to continue to stir and stir until you get. You gotta be patient. Get. Patient and slow. Okay. Uh, it's, it's at medium heat. Okay. And you can see that this is a blonde roux at this yeah. point. And then you're going to cook it down until it you get like to this, this, color. this color. Okay. And, and that's so, it changes to a dark, creamy color. So yes, that's when this you know it's right. You, they call it a peanut butter roux or a chocolate roux. Okay. It all depends on the color you're looking for. Got it. And then once you get that color, uh -huh. you're going to add in more fat. Oh. The fat is all about gumbo. Yes. So then we're going to add in the bacon, and mm. you're going to let that render down. Um, and then once that's rendered down, you're going to add in the rest of the mise en place, which okay. is um, the trinity. All they right. call this the holy, holy trinity. trinity. So it's uh, celery, onions, and bell pepper. There you have it. So you're just going to put all of that in, and you're going to let that just continue to cook down. Uh, now, do you feel pressure when they say it's the best gumbo in New York City? I, most people that know their gumbo, they are coming in with very, very high standards. Yeah. yeah. And yes. And you're not letting anybody down. And, and they know that I'm from Boise, Idaho, so they're like, oh, but. <laughs> they were like, don't put any potatoes in this. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. But they all leave happy. So I, I love do that. think that it's going to be the best gumbo I love it. Have. I love it. Okay. So then we just so add in. Uh, the Cajun seasoning. Right. This is our house Cajun seasoning. Mm. Um, add in our pepper blend. Again, yes. it's just um, a uh, Aleppo pepper, red pepper Ooh, flakes. Nice. Um, add in your garlic. 
I love that. And so then, what makes yours different? So my roux is different. Oftentimes a roux is just oil and flour. Yeah. What makes it different is I use all of those different fats to build the flavor profile. Oh. So pork fat, chicken fat, butter, all of that. Oh my God, I got goosebumps. A very, very... <laughs> All uh, the things that make me so happy. Rich. <laughs> they're all, I'm like look, hearing they're everything. They're not waiting. No, they're not already, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So start then you're adding chicken. your chicken. Uh -huh. um, and then you want to let all of that cook down. You're going to add in. Your chicken pieces are huge. All of it's going to cook down and be a I, very I'm not complaining. Uh, Don't get wrong. Hearty soup. So then you're going to add in your chicken stock. Nice. And then you're going to let this is where you're going to let it really simmer for. Uh -huh. About 30 minutes. Okay. Just let it sit and simmer and simmer and simmer. And then, once you're, that is done, then you're going to have what you see here. Oh. So we Ooh. just put in the meats. Now, yeah. once you've had it simmer, then you want to add in your seafood. And then we're going to turn this on high and let it go down. So then the key to gumbo is you have to add in the filet powder. Which is the name of your restaurant. Exactly. So the filet powder. And this now what's in filet powder? So filet powder is just ground sassafras tree leaf. Huh? Uh, it's a thickener. So it's a little bit herbal tasting, yeah. but mainly it's just you get the iconic texture of what gumbo is supposed and to I be. Keep, uh, I keep a container in my, in my kitchen, and I always tell people it's a pantry must, but I never knew what it was in there. That's amazing. Just so ground sassafras tree leaf. Wow, okay. Um, so we got it all cooked so down. Then all that's cooked down. Okay. And then we're just going to finish, you would finish with a little bit more uh, white wine. Oh. Cook that down. And just once it comes to a simmer, we are just waiting for it to come to a simmer. Okay. Um, and then I you're going to serve it. I think they have a finished it. bowl for me yeah. too. Yes, we're going to make you a finished bowl. I'm just going to okay. do some gremolata first. Oh, okay, go so ahead. the final garnish is the gremolata, mm -hmm. which is just parsley, lemon zest, and garlic. Okay. And we add that in just so that we can. Um, Got the lemon have zest here. The par so it's parsley. Parsley, lemon zest, and garlic, okay. which is going to come out to like this. Okay. Uh, and so what we're going to do oh. is... I love that you wanted me to have it fresh out the pot, <laughs> right? I love that. This is what makes it a great potluck. It's because all you have to do is just put it, cook it. You can cook it ahead of time, bring it in, and then it's already ready to go. Just warm it up. And then we have some rice oh. that has to go with it. Um, and then what I do is, if I can get a spoon... We just spoon out the rice. Right. And then we will just put it right on top. Okay. And then that makes it perfect. And then, and then you put more. Oh my God. And then we just have a grilled prawn that we just put oh right on gosh. top. Oh my gosh. With the. Look how beautiful milk. this is. Right. Okay. While I take my first bite, I know you have some exciting events happening this holiday season at the restaurant. Yes, so New Year's Day, we're gonna have your classic Southern New Year's Day dinner. Cause you have to, it's good luck to have uh, black eyed peas. So we'll have Hoppin' John's, the collard greens, uh, with the pot liquor, all of it with ham, all of it to celebrate and ring in the new year. So good. This is so good. How are you guys doing over here? Good, we're eating. Yeah. Chef Kristen, you have two bowls. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Whatever they write about you, it's all very true. And whatever <laughs> they write, it's all very true. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Be sure to check out Chef Eric McAfee if you're in New York City Filet Gumbo Bar. And be sure to check out their upcoming holiday events. I'm gonna be there New Year's Day.